grace and peace, my brothers and sisters, grace and peace. My name is Brother Yehuda, and today's topic is part two of The Earth Becomes Dry. Now, we're in the book of Genesis, chapter 8, verse 4 through 5, and I'm going to read the verses. And the ark rested in the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, upon the mountains of Avarat. And the waters dis- decreased continually until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, where the tops of the mountains seen. Now that's in the book of Genesis, chapter four, verse. I'm sorry, in the book of Genesis, chapter eight, verse four and five. Now here we have the effects and evidence of the ebbing of the waters. Now the ark rested. This was some satisfaction to Noah to feel the house he was in upon firm ground and no longer movable. Now it rests upon a mountain, whether it was directed not by Noah's prudence, Noah did not steer it, but by the wise and gracious providence of God, that it might rest the sooner. Now, God has time and places of rest for his people after their tossing and many a times God provides for their seasonable and comfortable settlement without their own contrivance and quite beyond their own foresight. Now, the ark of the church, though sometimes tossed with tempest and not comfort, we're going to go in the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 11. O thou if afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stone with, fi- with fair colors, and lay thy foundation with sapphires. That's in the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 11. <clears throat> now by this, he declares the excellent estate of the church under Christ, yet has its rest. We're going to go on the book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 31. Then had the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria and were edified and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost were multiplied. That's in the book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 31. <clears throat> now the top of the mountains were seen like little islands appearing above the water. We must suppose that they were seen by Noah and his sons, for there were none besides to see to see them but them. Now it is probably probably that they had looked through the window of the ark every day, like the longing mariners after the tedious voyage to see if they could discover land, or as the prophets servants. We're going to go in the book of First Kings, chapter 18, verse 43 and 44. And said to his servants, go up now, look towards the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And he said, go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, behold, there arise a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, go up, said unto Ahab, perhaps thy chariot and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. Now that concludes this part of the segment of the book of Genesis, and we're going to conclude with a prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray your holy name. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will give thanks to your name, for you have worked wonders, plans, You formed long ago and perfected faithfulness according to the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 1. O Lord, thou art my God. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsel of old are faithfulness and true. That's in the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 1. Thank you, Lord, that you are my strength and my song, and you have become my salvation. You are my God, and I will exalt you according to the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 2 and 3. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God. 
I will prepare him a habitation. My father's God, I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. That's in the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 2 and 3. Thank you, Lord, that our mouths will speak the praise of the Lord. All flesh will bless will bless your holy name forever and ever, according to the book of Psalms, chapter 145, verse 21. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. That's in the book of Psalm, chapter 145, verse 21. And may the world, the whole earth be filled with your glory, according to the book of Psalm, chapter 72, verse 19. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. That's in the book of Psalm, <clears throat> chapter 72, verse 19. The Lord lives. Praise be to my rock. My God will be exalted. And is my savior according to the book of psalm chapter 18 verse 46 the lord liveth and blessed be my rock and let the god of my salvation be exalted that's in the book of psalm chapter 18 verse 46 thank you lord that we will praise you for the rising of the sun to the place where it sets the name of the lord will be praised according to the book of psalm chapter 113 verse 3 from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. That's in the book of Psalm, chapter 113, verse 3. In Christ Jesus' almighty name, I pray, may God be the glory. As I walk, live, and pray in your image and likeness, the fruit of the Spirit, I come in love and leave in peace, grace and peace to all the saints. Amen and amen. Now that concludes the book of Genesis, chapter 8, verse 4 and 5. I hope you was edified. And if you was blessed by this segment, pass it on to a friend or a family or loved one so they can be edified as well and blessed. Thank you for listening and have a blessed day.